Hi guys. Today I'm coming with no interesting research facts. Yesterday I made a video about uh, Bosnian bulls and what they perhaps were highly likely to be and used for. So nobody watched it. So I ended up to uh, searching from my archives and uh, found these videos about buried windows. Maybe those are the ones you're gonna watch. So this is just uh, close to my office and you can see that uh, wall is continuing and the next building is also uh, with the evidence of the buried windows although they made as a basement windows we see the structure is different and the bricks are going down. This is Germany and uh, also a hill uh, with the buried, um, buried constructions, uh, ruins and stuff like this so pretty interesting. Huh? I hope you like it and uh, this is uh, also an uh, excavation site near uh, one of our, uh, one of the Russian churches and we can see the gothic uh, gothic architecture is going down underneath it's probably buried and this is uh, this is India and you can see the level of excavation for people to uh, grow their crops because the uh, the mud is not very good for growing crops so they took the mud away and uh, grew crops on the previous layers of the, of the, of the soil. Uh, this is supposed to be a construction of a railway in Russia but as you can see it looks more like excavation of the previous bi previously built one. Uh, as you can see the level of excavation is pretty much uh, the same as what we see in Russia and many other countries so it's like three to four meters deep. Talk, talking about the railways, I found this picture about uh, uh, railways sinking in a sinkhole and uh, we have plenty more in Russia, plenty more sites with the sinkholes uh, which, are very, you know, which are very huge and stuff like this so uh, I decided to uh, bring some more information on this and probably uh, these are just the mining uh, evidence, m evidence of mining of previous civilizations, and so the sinkholes appear to uh, on, on on the previous mining sites. So think about it. Maybe you have uh, more information on this uh, because I've been talking about this for like half one and a half year about this mining, and nobody wants to watch my videos anymore. But I found these pictures, and uh, they 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 look like a some type of insects but really they are not because they are uh, pictured to uh, eat the the soil so like they grow in the tunnels and stuff like this so probably this is the explanation of how so many cars got sunk in russia maybe because there's buried uh, buried constructions underneath or maybe maybe because it's uh, just a whole bunch of mining uh, going on underneath uh, the cities because the cities were probably built on the places where miners set up their uh, set up their sites and stuff like this so uh, we cannot say for sure but sometimes it's of course uh, just the buried constructions which are just you know rusting and um, dissolving uh, and so probably some some type of uh, those sinkholes appear to be just a break through uh, the the roofs of the buildings that which are buried but some of them probably could be related to the previous mining and so on and so forth so um, plenty of those and you probably have in your countries send me some pictures if you have uh, any collections of those because it looks pretty strange for me to see those cracks in the ground and uh, people just seeing this mud and soil underneath and doing nothing, thinking about what? Thinking about uh, just, you know, pouring some more concrete inside and just forgetting about those sinkholes. This is what we do in Russia, this is what the officials do, and they don't care about what's underneath. They just, you know, pour concrete or pour some asphalt on it and that's it. So, pretty much uh, explained right and uh, I think it's uh, an interesting topic for you guys and if you like it uh, just you know send me in the comments some information or maybe my private messages uh, are good enough for you and uh, of course you can find my email in the channel description right so we're going up to the next topic and next topic is finding some uh, you know 
perfins and the mummies or whatever in uh, Africa as you can see people are staring at this uh, site uh, probably like a 15 or maybe 20 feet deep as you can see uh, it's pretty huge just like this curfin found uh, near Alexandria uh, in Egypt uh, which is totally granite uh, and it's a very uh, very very interesting subject I, I don't have any more pictures if you have them just send me some more about this uh, curfin or whatever it is and also we found uh, they found uh, this uh, head of some sculpture near the this curfin and as they say it's uh, just the head of those uh, sculpture of the person who was buried in it also interesting fact about uh, Spain and we can see the mud uh, which got petrified and uh, is hanging above this um, very interesting city or houses underneath are very interesting if you have any more pictures about uh, this in your country just send me i'll do more research also uh, i have uh, pictures of these underground uh, tunnels uh, in uh, khabarovsk which is uh, close to china now russia is very big and huge so we have many borders and even china is one of them so they say it's a old uh, 19th century tunnel i don't think it's very uh, big because it looks more like a sewer but still it has stairs it has uh, you know strange facility purposes probably very uh, wide uh, uh, wide range and uh, plenty of uh, roots and uh, stuff like this and also we have uh, uh, evidence of some metals uh, metal constructions inside which probably were used by the previous uh, civilizations uh, and those who used it uh, and this is very interesting because the amount of masonry amount of brickwork here is very uh, enormous uh, I doubt it that they dig it. Uh, they dug it uh, with their bare hands. Probably they used some machinery. And look at it. It's totally flooded with mud and ex mm, concrements of some type of rusty metal and stuff like this. So, how could this uh, appear? I don't know. Please, if you have any uh, thoughts, write me in the comments. Also, we have this picture of the tunnel uh, of one mason and they, they call it a tower underneath so it's a tower that goes underneath uh, the ground so it's a underground facility we have plenty of those uh, entrances in st petersburg and moscow and whatever so uh if you have any uh, any of those interesting entrances in your town please also send me the pictures because it's very interesting about talking about those underground facilities facilities they are all uh, sometimes they reconstructed and have this museum view and sometimes like we have here in moscow it looks totally abandoned uh, and even have windows uh, which are buried uh, right now so it's like um, 10 meters deep and uh, i don't know who were using those windows uh, back then so uh, the next one is the picture of the Colosseum. Uh, i don't know if i showed it before but it's very interesting and i'm coming up with more information of uh, of India pictures we have about a collection about 100 pictures of in Indian architecture so it's coming up this is also very interesting I think it's a quarry uh, they call it an arch uh, arch uh, canyon or something like this uh, archers canyon in uh, in United States so I think it's nothing else but mine inside because uh, as I've been talking before about these little rocks uh, sticking out so it's like uh, what miners do when they uh, take out the volume scratch the volume uh, of some um, some you know mining uh, things so probably it is a mining site so I don't have uh, very much pictures but uh, some of them I uh, really uh, show some marks of machinery and uh, as, as I said before those rocks sticking out is just uh, another example of uh, some maybe mining evidence 
what do you say about this what do you think uh, have you been there and please write me in the comments maybe I'm wrong and sometimes yeah my videos are not very astonishing I think they're just you know routine videos uh, so uh, don't just take it easy because I can't do the sensation every day thanks a lot for watching my channel and see you later guys bye